99% of the world's population will not be prepared. Is the fear of the apocalypse alive today? Yes, I think people are genuinely concerned about it. Famine, plague, death, war, your world can change very quickly. I think there's a lot of questions about what exactly is going on. Is there an end to mankind? Has that ever been predicted? The regathering of Israel, becoming a nation again, this is the sign of the end times. There's fuses all over the place. We're just waiting for one of them to get lit. It's that volatile. Rumors of wars and wars, nation against nation, people against people, that is just the beginning. It's a great cosmological drama that is playing out. These constellations are lining up. This is what Revelation 12 is talking about. Every single thing that's going to happen on September 23rd factually is mentioned in a book that's 2,000 years old. Is Revelation 12 describing Planet X? In a way, yes, it describes it as a fiery dragon of old. This is not Hollywood anymore. This is reality. This is where astronomy and the Bible meet. Is Planet X coming in? The answer to that is yes. There are some amazing things going on in the sky, and it shows a time coming of just utter destruction of the Earth. Can the events of the book of Revelation actually come true? What's going to happen to me? What's going to happen to my family? What's going to happen to my world? These are the birth pangs that's setting this whole thing up at this time. These are the signs. This is not something where I'm giving you a doomsday scenario, but it is something that tells me that we need to pay attention. This is a warning. Ancient times, humans have looked to the sky with both reverence and fear. We saw it during the American eclipse, and we're about to witness it again, this time on September 23rd. The eye-catching spectacle can't be seen with the naked eye, but as we show you in this Arklatex and Death Report, it is evoking a sense of doom, and it's something that's been predicted for eons. On September 23rd, 2017, some televangelists and YouTube enthusiasts predict a planetary alignment will fulfill a cryptic scripture prophesied in the New Testament. You're not alone. All of us are going through it. The world is crazy right now. The devil is about to unleash his wrath. We're out of here soon. The sign, based on the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, foretells the end times and deep sorrows for the nations. Hmm. But I mean, I won't make it to my birthday. The passage of scripture metaphorically describes a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of 12 stars on her head. She was pregnant and cried out in pain as she was about to give birth. Shreveport resident and Bible believer Marlou Brashear believes the scripture explains what will happen to Christians worldwide. They'll supernaturally disappear in thin air. But concerning that day and hour, no one knows. Not even the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but the Father only. The rapture is with the second coming of Christ. And when he comes, he, the, the dead of Christ will rise, and they will be raptured up to heaven in that moment. Three News reached out to Cran Lucas, a retired LSUS professor and long-term member of the shreveport Bossier Astronomical Society, not for his take on the prophecy, but on Saturday's celestial event. And uh, this is something that happens periodically. The last time it happened was in 1827. The stars and planetary alignment, technically turned by NASA scientists as a conjunction, is when two astronomical objects come together. Lucas says the rare alignment of stars at the head of Virgo will come from other constellations, while the planet Jupiter goes into retrograde motion, entering Virgo's womb and then exiting it. But the sun and the moon aren't going to be really close. And of course, the sun is daytime, right? So it's not something that you're actually going to see. It's not like looking at the moon or the planets or something at night. It's something that, that will occur in the daytime. Lucas says without online planetary software, you won't be able to see the alignment. He also downplays any worries of cataclysm. Our lives are not governed by where the planets and the stars and the moons are. Okay, astrology is really just fantasy. Okay, there's no reality to it. Some Joanne Howell doesn't attend church, but she's intrigued by the convergence of rising geopolitical tensions. The astronomically rare September 23rd event 
and biblical prophecy. I think only God knows when when it's really going to happen. But as, as far as the Bible, I, I mean, I do think it's it's close. It seems like it is anyway. But... Will you be watching the skies at all? <laughs> no. No. Are you? <laughs> what if the world doesn't end? Well, the, 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 this world will end for everybody. If you take your last breath, this world will end for you. So it will end. Shreveport resident Jeff Harris is skeptical. While that is interesting, I don't think it's really something I would consider to be hard evidence, even though I'm religious and to some extent believe in the book of Revelations, yeah. Theologians say the Revelation 12 sign also coincides with the high holy day of Rosh Hashanah. That's on the Jewish calendar, which is also called the Feast of Trumpets. The Feast of Trumpets is believed to be a day when the dead will be resurrected and judgment will begin. And Jerry, it is worth noting the complete astronomical alignment reportedly occurs on September 23rd over Jerusalem. So if anything, Jerry, science is fascinating to watch and in this case, theorize. Conspiracy theorists are claiming that September 23rd will mark the end of the world. No, I don't know anyone who said that. So is this a sign that the rapture must happen on the, on the 23rd? No, I don't know anyone who said that. And I think the mockers just, you know, this is called a straw man argument. You pick, an, you know, something that is ridiculous and then you just beat out, you know, beat the heck out of it and think you've won the debate. I don't think anyone has said that the world ends. No Christian preacher that I know says the world ends on September 23rd. But the sign, the symbolism, the metaphor shows that we are going into birth pain, contraction and delivery. All right. Is that delivering the church up to the Lord in a rapture? Well, then it could happen before or after. Is it delivering the Antichrist so that the world may be deceived? It could be as well. All right. But something major is being signified by this. And I think it behooves us to pay attention and not just to dismiss or even be ridiculing. And many are citing last month's solar eclipse and more recent hurricanes as signs of this impending apocalypse. The powerful earthquake triggering a wave of panic, thousands running for their lives. <laughs> Screams filling the streets of Mexico City as buildings break apart and fear floods the capital. The 7.1 tremor bringing the region to its knees. Buildings that didn't collapse swayed across the skyline of one of the world's biggest cities. Plumes of dust rising from where structures used to stand. The epicenter near the Puebla state town of Raboso, 76 miles southeast of Mexico City. Earlier this month, an 8.1 earthquake killed 100 people in southern Mexico. Some are attributing their belief to a theory called Revelation 12 sign, which involves the rapture or the return of Jesus Christ. From their perspective, September 23rd will mark a rare day when the sun, moon, and Jupiter will be aligned along Virgo, which is the sign of the woman described in the Revelation Bible passage. However, critics of this rationale have pointed out that the astral event, though rare, still occurs every 12 years. And despite its biblical references, a Daily Mail report notes that the theory is only loosely based on actual Bible scripture and largely dismissed by the wider Christian community. If you're listening to this and you're looking for evidence that the Bible originates from another dimension, from another source other than myths and human opinion, we've got it in front of us. Not only did the sign occur four days later, but the dates correspond to the chapter and verse that records Jesus' prediction. August 21st corresponds with Luke chapter 21. August 25th corresponds with verse 25. Could it get more rock solid than that? Not only that, God who made the sun and the moon and the stars made it such that the solar eclipse would draw a line the path of totality across America so that it would end in the Atlantic where Hurricane Harvey was starting and then we have another hurricane that's about to make landfall and it's probably going to hit the very end of the path of totality on the East Coast somewhere in the Carolinas. 
then the birth pangs and the delivery of the king planet representing the king. Some people say first there has to be Antichrist. I got that. Maybe it's a represent representation of the false king first, but whatever it is, this is the king planet. So surely there is an Antichrist coming. Surely millions will be deceived. Whatever is being conceived and being delivered is going to be delivered around 23rd of September. So is this a sign that the rapture must happen on the, on the 23rd? No. So Jupiter is exiting after being in gestation. About nine and a half months, Jupiter has been in retrograde inside of the womb of Virgo. So we have delivery. Now, do we have any more confirming signs? Yes, we do. My goodness, we have sign after sign. In fact, we now have Hurricane Jose becoming strong and making landfall already in the Caribbean and it's going to go to America. And I was watching Jose, but I didn't say anything because we had to give people updates on Hurricane Harvey, then update on Irma. But I had Jose at the back of my mind. I'm thinking, Jose, Jose, this is uh, Spanish for Joseph. And then it just blew me away when I saw the next storm that is coming. The one under Jose is Maria. Maria. Oh man, not only, not only are these words prophetic, Hurricane Maria, they are going to intertwine in a rare event, in a rare dance that's called the Fujiwara effect. This is not something that happens commonly. In fact, I don't remember it ever happening at all uh, as far as I've ever watched the weather. And it's amazing because, as I said, Jose means Joseph. Maria means Mary, so Joseph and Mary, Joseph is on top, Mary is at the bottom, they're going to intertwine. In fact, Mary is going to pull Joseph back in. Joseph was a storm that was supposed to have gone away. Maybe it will go by the time September 23rd comes, but on the European model, it shows that Mary will pull Joseph back in, they do a dance, and Joseph crashes in to the East Coast. And that can be from anywhere from Washington, D.C., all the way up to Boston. So another major natural disaster seems to be on the horizon. And the names couldn't be more prophetic. I mean, up in the sky, we've got the Virgin giving birth. Down below in the atmosphere, we've got Joseph and Mary. What are they going to deliver? Something major. America, it's time to wake up. Here's the headline news. Hurricane Jose and Tropical Storm Maria could dance the Fujiwara. Quoting from the reporter, Dan Stillman, You can watch Jose and Maria engage in the Fujiwara in the European model forecast below for Saturday morning. Get this, September 23rd. Can it be more confirming? Do we, have, do we need more signs? Do we need more evidence that God is reaching out to America and saying it's time to repent? 